Hi everyone, this is Kevin again here. I just wanted to thank you for uh, watching my videos. I wanted to uh, give a special thanks to Inline Craft uh, once again for having the items available for review. And I'd also like to thank my editing team for helping me out with the videos. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the videos. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to set up the Wizard 4 grinder, part number 10030. From Inland Craft. Thank you, Inland Craft, for having the grinder um, for review. Um, we're going to set it up and we'll show you how to clean it quick. And uh, I'm doing a project. Uh, it's actually called Eyes of Wisdom, and it's kind of fitting because it's actually a wizard. And uh, we're going to use this machine to do all the grinding for the project. So let's get started and. Uh, Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. As mentioned, this is the project we'll be doing with this grinder. I've already got most of it cut out already and then we're going to set this up and then we'll start the grinding process and fitting. Um, the grinder comes with the owner's manual, so please read through the, the owner's manual and um, become familiar with it when you're using the machine. Um, some of the accessories we have, we're going to use the, um, the face shield, we'll put the LED light on. It comes from factory with the second story work surface, a one inch bit, a one quarter inch bit, two sponges, and two Allen keys. And with the second story work surface, you get the pins to go in the corresponding holes, which will use holes F on both sides. And this will fit all three grinders with the same numbers. Um, also, the sponge is an L-shaped sponge that comes with the second spray work surface. So first of all, we're going to just uh, lift off our our bit cert here. Um, just a quick a quick note here: when you go to clean the grinder, this won't be on, but you will take and uh, this lifts out of here like so and uh, the water is in here in the reservoir and uh, you'll lift this off and take the whole system to your cleaning station um, it's a good idea to keep your thumb on here because this is actually a removable compartment so keep your thumb on here and when you get to your workstation then you can just tip the water out and then you'll you'll wash all of this out in here you'll scrape out any residue from the glass grindings and uh, then you're ready to place this back on and then we'll we'll set our bits in place so what we'll do is uh, this shaft already has some lubricant on it from factory but i'll use my own um, there's a flat surface on here which the set screw will um, be placed against so we'll just lubricate that anti-seize and then we'll take our bit, a one inch bit, our Allen key there. And what I like to do is I like to thread these out. Most of the way. And then I'll put a little dab of anti seize on that thread, that screw as well. And then that way, when you thread it back in, you have the threads are protected as well. So we're using some Yokogini glass. And we're going to set that just above the of the glass. And we'll tighten that down. And then, since there is a possibility we may be using the second story, we'll also put the second story bit on. We will also do the same thing. We'll thread this set screw out to touch. Brush that, and then we will, same thing, set screw to the flat surface, and we'll just kind of set that there temporarily, and we'll see the second spray surface will slide right on top, and it'll sit right there, and we'll just check the height with our, and that's where we want that to be. We'll just uh, let it a little snug down 
add to those. And then we will also This is a little overkill, but there's nothing worse than trying to get these out later on. So Let's do that. And then we can set our bit cert in place. This is a one inch bit cert with the sponge. And then our mini splash shield will go on. And then we're also going to We'll set this up here for now as well. We're going to use our face seal. We're going to set our LED lights assembly on here. So we will put our screws up through the back here. And the two holes that are closest will slide onto here, and the thumb turns will turn on. And tighten that down. Tighten that down. Then our LED light will we'll just clip on the back wherever you want it to. And then our face shield will go in the two back holes right there. Like so. And now I've made a splash shield out of signboard and uh, it works out quite well. You can pick that up at your local hardware store. Um, as mentioned before, the LED light kit comes with a USB or your household plug. And then there's just a notch on the bottom here where I run the cords through. to go and we'll make sure our switch is off and we will add some water and the same thing we'll just take this off here just to show you the height of where we're going with the water and we'll go to the indicator here If you use the invisible sponge, um, the one inch one, part number 40040, they will require a little bit more water in the machine just because it, it has to draw the water up through the pieces here, the uh, slots. So it does require a little bit more water in there. And you'll, you'll notice that once you start the machine, if the grinder doesn't actually have water coming with it, You'll need to add a little bit more water to that. So let me set this back together. Put this back on on the second story. You don't need to leave it on, but it's just for demonstration purposes. I'll plug this back in here. And we'll turn our light on. Step that off for now. Let's put that to the side. Get our safety glasses on. Put our mini splash shield back in place. Our sponge is a little bit damp. We'll just add a little more water to it. There we go. That'll keep 
are a bit cool. Let's plug our machine in. I have a power bar that I use. And then we will take our glass and we can start the grinding process. is going to grind slightly different. Some is softer, some is harder. Um, you can get different courses of bits. This is a standard bit that comes with it and um, sometimes the harder bits until they wear in will kind of chip the glass edge a little bit. So you may want to go to a finer bit um, but that's something you can add afterwards. Um, we're going to keep grinding the project and just uh, Make sure we keep everything clean once we're done, clean the machine, and just so then you're ready to go for the next day. And uh, we'll do a, uh, a follow-up once the pieces are, are ground and fit. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, um, and we hope to talk to you soon.